Hey folks, Graders here. We're gonna get back to playing a little Reforged Eden in Empyreon Galactic Survival and uh, hopefully you saw my comment on the last episode. I created a comment on after the last episode because I was sitting on the couch and uh, watching TV with the wife and collecting some resources here in this safe so we can get closer to getting our next CV. And man, some bad things happen. You see Gary over here, he's hanging out ready, ready for to trade with me. He, he wants my crap and give me some money. I need the money. I need the money. But, uh, well, I, I'm here in this system. Let's see if I can bring things up here. And you can see I'm on the KHIC 227622 2 moon. <laughs> uh, where I have uh, landed after uh, some really terrible things happened. We're in this system, Gadathad, uh, which is not too far from where we were originated at, which is uh, uh, over here, I believe. If I, if the name's going to come up, please, game, you, you going to work with me here? All right, all right. Uh, no, you're, you're not going to work with me. Okay, that's fine. Um, you don't, you don't have to work with me. Um. It's not doing anything. Ugh, okay, give me just a second. I know it's wrong. Ah, Gary, buddy, uh, we've been having some conversation over the last few days, haven't we? Okay, let's see if we get this map to work straight here now. There, it's, it's not going to work for me, is it? It's not. It's just not. There it is. Beely Swath is over here, our, where our home is at. Uh, but the problem is that we don't have a CV anymore. I'm going to go stand here in the corner. I'm ashamed. I have no more CV. The CV is gone, so i got to stand here in the corner and be ashamed of myself. Utterly ashamed. I'm going to show you what happened. And, well, I can't show you what happened because I wasn't recording at the time because I was playing on my laptop gathering resources. But I'll tell you what happened. I'm going to send the free cam over there uh, momentarily here. Uh, and then we'll take the... Uh, the fortunately, um, although the... The Nova ugh, is gone. <laughs> I think there's a set of stairs there, but it didn't look like it initially. But fortunately, the Diggity and the HV made it through unscathed. So, um, yeah. So I, I, I jumped in the Diggity and, well, I, I let's just get over there and I'll tell you all about it. Well, the free cam is not, is not quick. It's really, really slow unlike when you're in like creative mode and then you can speed up and slow down but when you're in not when you're in survival mode it doesn't like to do nothing <laughs> so let's get up off the moon we're just gonna head on over there you can see a couple yellow markers on the top of the screen middle dish and the left side of the screen bottom third yeah those are our bookmarks one is for home uh, our new base, which we got to get back to somehow, but I got ideas. I got good ideas, and actually, I've already made use of them. Uh, but we're going to creep over here to this wreck station because that is where <laughs> what's left of the Nova is at. So what happened was, let's, let's quiet the thrusters here. There we go. That's more fun. Um, I was, I, I found this wreck station out here in space, and I, you know, it's like, it's iron blocks, and might have some reinforced iron blocks, and all kinds of goodies in it, and it's actually a pretty, fairly large wreck station, and I think it's like two of them, or big chunks of it, and it's kind of melded into a big one piece, it's, but I, 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 well, you'll see it here in a minute, uh, but I was getting blocks, while I was getting blocks, the, almost the entire time I was there, I was getting peppered by, um, sorry, game minimized, uh, by, uh, the little Zraxian drones, I don't know, there, there's a ship behind me somewhere, I think that's a ship ship, not, not a drone, so that's fine, um, I was getting peppered by them, which is not, not a big deal, I mean, the Nova can handle those little drones, it's handled a bunch of them, and this is not the first system where I've been gathering resources, and they just, they just come by, peppering away, and then I gather their guts and move along. So I really wasn't paying that much attention. Plus, I'm sitting on the couch watching TV with the wife, so I got the game sounds turned, like, way down. I can kind of hear it, but not clearly hear it, if you know what I'm saying. So I was gathered some blocks. I was getting ready to head back to the Nova after I had a pocket full of junk, and uh, I got there and noticed out of the corner of my eye uh, a bigger ship. 
Not just one of these little drones or a bunch of them. It was a bigger ship. Xerxian scum frigate or a Corvette or something. I forgot already. It's in the comment if you want to go back to the other episode and read my comment. Um, okay, here's where we got to be careful because it's in this space somewhere. You can see the RFO2 Nova it's in red buried in the middle of all the rest of the text. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to try to hop into the butt end of it and um let's uh get oriented to the play field because the nova was oriented to the play field so you can see this wreckage here let's get some stuff off the screen so you can actually see it there's the nova i'm on the wrong side of it that's fine so th this facility is quite big and i was i was gathering some junk i was enjoying myself gathering of the junk and a frigate as you can see in the hole there in the butt <laughs> the butt did not need another hole in it. The one was enough. <laughs> but, um, yes, yes. The HV is still there hanging out, but you can see there's not much left of the insides of this thing. Let's get this thing docked. We're going to actually log out or shut it down here for a moment. Uh, so, yeah, um, the, the big boat was, uh, oops, I need a jetpack was uh, firing missiles and, I assume, other things and just gutted the Nova. I mean, just gutted it. And I had just put a tool turret on here, a drill turret, uh, so I could mine of the resources. Thank goodness that's still there. All the turrets are on here. Our long, um, long range radar is still here and a lot of the thrusters are here, a majority of them. Uh, unfortunately, the major, the, some of the most of the cargo got obliterated <laughs> as you can see there's this one cargo box here oh and that that's still here amazingly enough the lcg lcd projector that's that's fantastic is there anything in this fridge no i emptied it so there there's a few minor bits and bobs around but uh, man look at this look at this it's all gone oh my bed is still there oh surprisingly oh Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Look at this. It's just unbelievable. But before all the stuff despawned, I was able to gather it and throw it in this storage, which is fortunately still here. Uh, if we look at a map, I don't think the enemy is going to be shown. No, that's a shovel head. Wreck, wreck. This, this guy right here, the Senate class Corvette, he's the guilty party. We want revenge. We must have our revenge. No, uh, oh, that's a pirate barge. That, that is the monster that has done this to us. So I have plans. What we need is another CV. <laughs> As you can imagine, I turned everything off, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, fire it all back up. Uh, we'll, we'll come back and gather stuff. Uh, before we leave. In fact, hmm, I wonder, I wonder, can I throw our salvage core, which I have in my pockets, is, can I throw the salvage core down? Because it, I mean, there's no generators or anything left. There's nothing to power anymore. And I just want to be able to access this through the logistics so I can get the rest of these things off. That That's fantastic. Okay. I will take the doors. I will take my bed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have it. <laughs> we will take the heavy glass, too. I don't know what's left of it. Or most of it. I'm not gonna get bore you up with all of it. I'm gonna get the, bi the big bits, like this thing. That storage should be able to handle all of this. I think there is plenty of room left in it. So I'm gonna gather all these important bits, and then we're gonna head down to the planet. Where there's a trade station, a uh, Polaris trade station that we can make use of. Oh, I don't disconnect. Please don't disconnect. Did it disconnect? No. Fantastic. Okay. Because there's, there's no wireless connection anymore, so I got to stay within very close proximity of the shell of the Nova. Grab these thrusters. And... Oh, that one's still there. So we're gonna get something back out of this. Fly down through a hole. Fantastic. We'll have that. We'll have that. Oh man, it just, it's enough to make him. It's enough to make a man cry. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, boy. I should have been paying closer attention, but eh, this is the way it goes sometimes. Grab that, too. <laughs> There's nothing in there yet. Oh, there is. Okay, well, we'll grab that junk. I'm surprised that junk survived. So, I'm serious. Seriously? <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, uh, grab that sensor. I'll have the light. Thank you very much. Just be sure not to um, loot. Oh, I'll have the light. Why not? Why not? All of it's good junk. Oh, got that. All right. I'm going to gather the rest of this junk, what's left of it, and I will see you down on the planet side. All right. We're going to go visit some Polaris because... Actually, I might as well show you. Oops, wrong buttons. We are friendly... Just barely with the Talon, and we are also friendly with the Polaris Mega Core because I went and did a couple jobs for the Polaris Mega Core. These these little simple jobs, the plausible deniability in a desert strike. When that one's got to be done on a desert planet, by the way, in case you want to try to try to get it done, it says that in here somewhere. But uh, 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 right, yeah. Well, you can read this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I went and did those two and was able to be get friendly with the Polaris. So I could make use of their teleporters. And I did. So I was able to teleport back to the base and get things done that way. And it was fantastic. And Okay, you're caught up. Um, I, I'm, I'm slightly depressed that the Nova is nothing but a shell. Actually, there are means to in, in Reforged Eden to uh, recover craft even as badly damaged as this um there are some blocks we're going to show them later before i die of uh, oxygen deprivation and all that fun stuff so i'll see you on the planet all right here we are we're at this little uh, trade station for the polaris mega core where we take our helmets off finally isn't this great? <laughs> Look at him. He's hanging his head in shame. You should, you protagonist. <laughs> but anyway, you can see here, there's a bunch of Scarabot betas around around here in Agristation, and there's Scarabot and all kinds of stuff. So we are well protected within this trade station in this uh, area of, of the Polaris Mega Core. And I don't know why the Sonic class is still showing up on the map. Why are you doing things, game? You're not supposed to be doing that. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever. Ah, so, yes. It's been scary. But <laughs> it hasn't been that bad. Because fortunately, we are friendly. I did do some upgrades to the brick station so I can teleport back to Belly Swath here. And then you can see the brick station there. And I can teleport my blue butt right on over there. <laughs> uh, since the game does things here we are so we got a teleporter now uh it wasn't there the last time i have spent some time in between gathering um resources of all kinds and upgrading the brick station here with all kinds of stuff including redoing box numbers and stuff and kind of organizing stuff a little better to my liking not that there's anything bad with the way it was originally organized i couldn't find nothing where did i put that was in was it in prod bay 09 nope there's nothing there crap because <laughs> there's so many storage boxes on this place you just lose everything. Uh, throw those in there. All right. So where were we? Ah, yes, upgrades. Um, I did throw a couple closets up here because for some reason the closets they they show up on the logistics menu. As you can see, closet meds one and meds two. Uh, what was up there is a couple little other things that don't show up on this on the um, logistics menu. So yeah, there's that. Uh, so I, I did that. We got a couple more advanced constructors in here, and we're gonna head down the styles. I, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I've been up to before. <laughs> well, I, you've seen some of it, and I've planted a bunch more junk. We got a full row over here of all the things required to make um, make make uh, these things, emergency rations, and probably a majority of this other stuff too. Um, so that is most of this stuff over here, and then of course we need plant or uh, plant fibers all the time. So I planted a couple uh, three by threes of plant fibers, nothing but plant fibers. I might put another one over here. Never have enough plant fibers. 
And then I don't know what we're going to do with this middle rule. Probably, probably if I can speak, probably stuff for uh, required for medications, bus rooms and all the other fancy, fancy crops. And then down here, we got, of course, our furnaces. And now we have two. You saw the one over here before, which is lit up for reasons. It's just showing itself better. That's fine. It's great. And this one is not, but it's over here. There's another one over here. They are hooked up to these two boxes. So this is where I'm storing my ores, and this is my smelt box. And, uh, I was using this this one over here, uh, but it's too small sometimes, so I started using this one as well. All right, and I believe you're caught up. Oh, and to make sure we had enough CPU, of course, we've got our basic CPU here. We got an improved CPU extender over there. We got another one there, and we got one advanced CPU extender over here. And we are within CPU currently. We've got 100,000 nearly, uh, and it's great. And I've put, topped off the power and or the fuel, and the oxygen's getting there it's taking time to because there's a lot of oxygen tanks on this bad boy there's a lot of oxygen tanks on the brick uh but we have never run out of fuel fuel has not gone down at all this thing is running a hundred percent on battery and solar power it's fantastic it's fantastic because there's a ton of those things they're all over the place them things right there you can see there's another one there there's another one there they're all over the place there's so much storage solar storage on here it's just incredible and one of these does something, is that right? Yep, fuel in O2 is over here, right. And I made some fuel. Oh, wrong side, I was gonna look at the sun for a minute. Burn my retinas out of my brains. Okay, so we're, we're gonna head back. Am I irradiated? Just a little bit, let's have a quick shower. Ah, oh, I feel so good, oh yes, oh yes. I go use the restroom, but you know, we might die. <laughs> Cause there's no vent or it's not open to the, general thing here do i got anything to drop off i don't think so no i don't okay yeah them's the things we're gonna do oh i wanted to come here because of all our resources are here so we're gonna head on up oh let's put our helmet mitts on let's head on to the top here so my plan was let me bring up the uh the uh the uh the build menu thingy oh we also got a repair station by the way i did not mention that we got a Advanced repair bay in the console that's down there is we got that we got that junk as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. It's, that sun is bright. Like bright. Woohoo! Alright, we're gonna stand here a minute. Okay, so here was my plan. I wanted just a cheap CV for the interim so we can go back, get all the junk out of what's the shell, the poor shell of the Nova, and uh get it back here get all those resources that are in it back here so i was looking on the, the workshop and i found um crap the stiletto which looked pretty good it's a small little vessel it's really relatively cheap it'd be a great starter cv it's got a warp drive i think it's got a basic shield in it uh, it's ready for reforged in it, and it's kind of cute <laughs> uh it's got a you know a couple little turrets on there it would have got the job done just fine i don't think it's got a ton of storage on it but the main storage was an ammo storage controller which is fine but it had like 150k or something which i think would have been fine but one of y'all left a comment that gave me a good suggestion and i went with it so we got the rook here it's ready to go it's a little more expensive that's fine most of it's carbon substrate but it's got all the fun stuff too and it's got a bunch of solar panels on it so at the basic level uh if it's sitting idle it, it'll just run forever basically it won't use fuel which is fantastic so we're gonna it's ready to go so we're gonna spawn this bad boy in we're gonna just bring it up here we're gonna bring oh we're gonna bring it down a little bit oh back up a little bit and bring it closer to us like right there right there i think it's good all right bam and there we go let's see if we can get it set down that'd be fantastic i think we got it excuse me i think we got to get in it to get it to set down so this thing's pretty cool uh I'll just jetpack over here because i think this is the easiest way to get into yeah and of course, we got to get fuel and all kinds of goodies in it. Where's the main main bridge? Is here. 
You gonna sit down? No, it's space, so it's gonna float. Of course. Only our protagonist, our character, falls through space for reasons. Elliot, tick tack. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to put some fuel in this bad boy, and we got a little bit, fortunately. Um, we want the brick station, our fuel in O2, and we'll grab a, a bunch of that. Woohoo, that's not a lot of fuel storage on here, so that's that's uh, in our benefit, to be honest. And let's grab some oxygens. We don't have a ton. Oh, that took a bunch of it. We gotta get some ice. Uh, one of the upgrades for this thing is, um, is drills. Drills. You can put drills on it. Yes, words, craters, them words. Oh, I gotta make some, uh, pentaxid. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that before we go. Let's, uh, have a look. Uh, there we go. And are the thrusters on? Are you on at all? Yes, you are. Turn on the oxygen. Yes, uh, thrusters are on. Are you? Oh, indeed, you are. Okay, sweet. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, we're gonna have to change that view. Mm -hmm. Zoom in. Nope. Why you do things? There we go. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Page down. Come on, keep going. Oh, I gotta clack it. And zoom in a little more. All right. I think that's good. We can we can alter it as we need to. And do that. And hit V. And hit V. And it should wind up. Yes, there we go. All right. So you might notice there's a bunch of LCDs all over the thing. But that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to back up a little bit. And block our access doors into the brick station. It's all good. We can just scoot to the side. <laughs> and we're down. All right. Shut the thrusters off so we're not burning fuel, although it should. We're kind of facing the wrong way. I'm not sure how the solar powers... See, it doesn't show that. We're going to go ahead and set this to our faction. Long-range radar. It doesn't have one yet, but we're going to get one. We're going to get it back. We don't have any mining lasers yet. Uh, mini guns. Yeah, I think those are, those are fine. They're not retractable, are they? No. All right. Fantastic. So there, there are a bunch of LCDs all over the place telling us how to upgrade this thing. And you read it as you see fit. I'll read it and edit it <laughs> as we do in Skyrim. <laughs> but this place is pretty cool. Why are you not working? Is there truly nothing out here? <laughs> okay. Usually they come and kind of come up with a 3D map of the area. Maybe it is, and I'm just being dumb. So we got a harvest controller here of 320K, which is great. It's well lit. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, we are going to set this as a home spawn. Uh, we got grow plots here, which is a strange configuration. Excuse me. Configuration is, tells us to put those grow plots on her. But you can see that the grow lights are in the middle here. I'm going to shut that off. We're going to shut a lot of stuff off. Uh, constructor, are you on? Of course you are. Uh, fridges, we want on. Food presser, shut you off. We don't need these kind of things. That's fine. There are a bunch of cargo boxes around. There's a 40K O2 fuel and Pentaxid container controller. There's another 320K general cargo. And I think these are all uh, just general boxes. 16K, yeah, they're just the standard storage boxes that are around everywhere. And they're sorted pretty good. I like that. It's not bad at all. So you can see the things. And we're creeping up on the, on the CPU uh, max. Uh, we're about 18k, just shy of it. So we can't really do a lot of the upgrades on here currently. I mean, we could add grow plots and crap like that. It's fine. Uh, now we could put a teleporter, which would be fantastic. Except teleporters, they eat CPU, I think. While they do in vanilla, I I say that. Um, uh huh. HV Bay, which we're gonna have to use somehow. We're gonna have to. Figure out a way to get our stupid little HV into this thing. Um, there is a... Aha! There it is. So, we'll set this to the general cargo. That's fine. We got nothing to make. And, of course, it's going to be messing up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, what does a teleporter for a CV cost? And uh, where is it? I passed it up. There it is. What's the CPU cost in this thing? Twenty-five... Thousand. Was that within CPU? No. That would put us over. Well, 
All right, fine. And more LCDs uh, about how to upgrade shields, upgrade, because it does have a, a basic shield controller on here. Uh, repair station, controller, repair station goes over here. Uh, that's what that thing is saying. And, and you can add a second constructor here. And then, of course, CPU upgrades are back over here in this corner. And then you can do generator upgrades and it tells you what to do here which is pull this out pull that one out add the big one same thing over here um and the whatnots eh, 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 eh. i got the base gravity plus this thing's gravity going at the same time let's shut the gravity off of this thing um um gravity Gravity. There we go. Shut you off for the moment. We don't need you until we're away from the station. Yeah, that should be a little easier. Yes, there we go. Because then, you know, they, they kind of add to each other. Ooh, there's a shower. This place is great. It's got full med facilities. These little capacitor relays, which are great. Uh, unfortunately, they're not, they're not the loot guy where it comes with fuel already. But we're going to head back down onto our... Um... um Brick <laughs> and uh, get things moving. Uh, uh, there is an upgrade thing. Upgrades, so we can shut all the LCDs off with that little switch signal there, uh, and then we can turn it back on when we need it to reference. And then when we finished upgrading this thing, if we ever do, um, then we'll uh, make use of that. Uh, in fact, drills. How much are drills? This is the things I wonder. What is here? Oh, we got a little crew quarters here, right in the, stuck in the middle with a fantastic view outside the front. Mmm, lovely. Oh, and there's our food processor. Uh, what fridge are you? Large fridge, it's all you say, and large fridge one. Okay, so if I go here, large fridge and large fridge one for the moment. I'll re 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 rename those to my liking later. All right, so I am going to get some things together. Open sesame, thank you very much. All right, and uh, I'll bring you all back when we are ready to get the crap off of here. Go get our junk. But we need some taxin and crap first. All right, we're back. The Rook is fueled up. It's got pentaxid. We got, uh, well, we, I think we got solar power going. Though. I'm not entirely sure how that works on a CV because this is new to me. And reforge in because you can't do that in vanilla. Um... Uh, we are heading back over to where uh, the we gotta watch out for the, that Sunnet Corvette over there. <laughs> evil, evil, just, just evil. <laughs> uh, so we gotta watch out for him. He's getting closer, but he's in the midst of that. I don't know what. Oops, I did it again. Wrong buttons. Minimize the game. Keep hitting the Windows key instead of oh, so he's amidst all that rubble. It's a blown up moon, I guess. It's my guess. It's some it's, looks like a bunch of stone. Nothing comes up, well, except for the Corvette, of course. There is a shipyard up there, uh, so hopefully we'll probably get see some drones and stuff. But hopefully that bad boy will stay away from us. And I'm just gonna hop out and. Uh, Hop back on to what's left of the um, Nova. Dump things in. See if we can get the uh, hover vessel out quickly if we can. If not, it's not a big loss. I am not wor worried about the uh, hover vessel because it's cheap. I can make a new one. In fact, I already have a second one. It's sitting back at uh, um, in the alpha system on, on, our, on our starter planet. So it's, it's actually, I got a second one that's already over there, because those things are cheap. That's why I like it. Uh, but I needed some wood, so I was teleporting back and forth, hauling 50 logs of wood at a time. It was great. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was terrible. It sucked. But <laughs> that's what I was doing, because we were in desperate need of wood. All right. We're going to zoom in here alongside the shell of the Nova, and I'm going to hop on over here, access the thing, and uh, move it on over. So before we do that, let's uh, access this general cargo. We're going to turn that on. We're going to hop on out, and we're going to do the things. Let's do it quick. Come on. Oh, I forgot. I turned the gravity off. Uh, gravity. Turn you on. I got to give me a shortcut for that. All right. And there is a drone hatch, which is fantastic. 
Uh, but we gotta get out to get that in. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Where's that sun? So now we can hop over here, grab this junk, and... Oh, right. Yes. Uh, no, not you. Rook. Yeah, just toss everything over there. And we got most of our stuff back, so this is fantastic. This thing I'm not too worried about. I don't know if there's anything on it besides maybe some ammo, uh, which I'm not worried about either. Shouldn't be anything in the fridges. Nope. Uh, can I P-menu it and get whatever's left of the ammo out? Uh, so let's do that. We'll throw this over here somewhere. I don't really care where. Just dump it over. Uh, so at least we're not losing that ammo. And then that is this place. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Nova. I got you blown up. Let's hop back on in and uh, get the crap out of here before that evil, evil Xeraxian scumbag decides to come back over this way. Uh, where is it? Is it heading this way? Um. Um. Um, it's not. Shipyard's over there. Oh, it's over there. It's 10 kilometers away. Uh, it is kind of getting closer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know if I want to gather more junk. No, no. Let's just cut our losses and get the crap out of here. We're going somewhere, anywhere. Really don't care where. Uh, so we can outfit our, um, some things. Actually, we gotta make some CPU extenders to get... Where, where's my home? Home? Where are you? Brick station, that way. We're heading that way. Alright. We're just gonna cut our losses. So this this thing is actually pretty big, and there's lots more junk on it, but uh, I got I got sidetracked by somebody below... And I hadn't even investigated that SML yacht yet. Um, but, you know... <laughs> What happens when you get sidetracked is you're watching your shit get exploded. <laughs> just, just get the crap out of here. Eh. And we're going to head back to the brick and uh, get situated. Get things sorted. See where we stand. And we're going to come up with a plan for the rest of the episode because right at the moment, this is all I had. <laughs> we're, we're only about halfway done. A little over halfway done. Which is great. So we got time to do, I don't know, something. See you in a second. All right. Oh, this this one's working. It's working now. Fantastic. How about you? Oh, come on. You were just working a second ago. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Must have been an anomaly. An anomalies. <laughs> Let's head over to the brick. Let's get things organized and uh, see what we can do. The pro our, our biggest problem is that this thing is basically, you know, it's 20 grand, uh, more or less, f uh, from CPU-wise. Oops, let's turn that back off. Um, so let's look at some of our instructions here. We're going to fire this thing back up. And so uh, further upgrades are possible, but installing more than one advanced CPU extender may result in the ship losing the capacity to idle forever. Eh, that's fine. It's fine, because we got to upgrade it, because we want to put some more other junk on it. Oh, and the original design was by Salustacor. Oh, I did not know that, because I didn't read this, uh, the description on the workshop all that carefully. I, I looked down at it. <laughs> Basically, I looked at the picture of the requirements for it, and I'm like, ah, that's not so bad. Oh, speaking of, our plan to bring in the Aurora is still a go. Uh, and I, in, while I was getting this thing ready... I have been gathering resources, so you can see we're, we're a little bit closer. We need some arrest room that we got to go mining. Uh, of course, iron, a little bit of silicone, some more copper, which is those. Those shouldn't be too bad. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. We just need a ton more wood, which is why I was collecting wood. So we might head back to the starter planet and get some of that. Uh, I did pile some crew on here, which is why we are basically broke. <laughs> uh, we got 12,000 credits left, uh, and that's after selling some stuff. To, we, I had it down to just a few thousand after buying that crew. So, yeah. Oh, so we don't have any, well, so there's probably a basic CPU on here. Core systems. Yeah, there's a extended. So maybe we can make a couple of pr improved 
CPU extenders and slap it on here and see, see where we stand for CPU that way. And it may not impact uh, the ability of this thing to, where am I going? Um, I'm so confused. It uh, uh, may not impact our, the ship's ability to be idle forever. So basically in here, huh? Um, install a improved assign. Okay, salvage the two blocks marked C to the right. Oh, so we... Oh, and an approved goes where those two things are at. I gotcha. Excited to install a second CPU extender in the free space. Okay. Okay. Once upgraded, salvage. Uh, so another... Right. All right. Oops. Wrong buttons again. All right. Let's get to it and do it. Uh, I did park it a little sideways, so at least some of the solar panels were facing the sun on this thing, because I'm not sure how that works, because on, you know, on a base, it usually shows here your... your uh, your uh um power your solar capacity or the le remaining charge left on it this doesn't have any batteries it says it doesn't have any batteries does it need batteries um is that a thing or is it just operate off solar panels strictly mm -hmm. these are questions i have maybe one of y'all can answer that Hmm. Hmm. Where's that constructor? Where, where'd that constructor go? Oh, wrong way. This way? Yes. No, that way. That was the right way. <laughs> I'll get used to this new shit. A, a, a bonus? This thing is a lot faster than the Nova was, especially when the Nova was laden with lots of stuff. It got really slow. I had it so slow at one point that it would not even warp. It wouldn't jump anywhere. Uh, so what I want to know is CP. What was I looking at? Um, crap. I got sidetracked myself and lost my own thought. Mm hmm. Yeah, that happens. Um, I'm going to remember here just in a second. Maybe something will kick in and um, um, I wanted to look at something in here because uh, I wanted to look at the constructor for reasons. Um, see what the CPU was of uh, something. Um, oh, uh, the, the the battery thingy. Um, can we make one for... We got solar panels. Um, I am not seeing it. Of course, I'm blind half the time, so... Um, yes. Hmm. So it works strictly off the solar panels. There's no battery. Well, that's interesting. I find that interesting. What are you? Antimatter tank? What the? What the? All right. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. <laughs> uh, of course, we can't craft anything because we have no goods. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's no battery. So it's strictly off the panels themselves. All right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, how do I get out of here? This way. I might turn down the brightness of some of these lights, make it a little more... Get some ambiance up in this bad boy. All right, we're going to head back over to the brick and get things sorted. And then we're going to have some fun doing something somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need some decking outside the back end of this thing. That would be great. All right, so what can we make? We, we need a couple improved... Improved... Let's get our helmets off. We got oxygens in this place. Improved CPU extenders for a um for a CV, and we can make a couple of them. We got enough gold and junk, I think, because we were mining gold. The problem, uh, well, it's gonna make them anyway, uh, because it needs eight large uptronic bridges. Uh, which then means also we need eight small electronic bridges to make the large electronic bridges. Eh, boy. And that's five gold for one of those. And this takes uh, five gold. Oh, I thought it was 25. Well, it's 25 in vanilla is what my memory is telling me. All right. Well, okay. Make them. Um, make them. Make them. Make them up here. Yep. Uh, nope. CV. Just make sure we got a couple improves. 
go. And that's going to take us a minute. There you go. There you go. Do the do of the things. And then we're going to bring in a bunch of junk from the... While well, that is doing that, from the Rook. Oh, and Brick Station. Nope, we want the one we are looking at. Thank you very much. Right, okay. And then we can drop all this junk over here. So we got our wonderful tool turret that we just made. It was working great. We gathered some good resources with that thing. Uh, throw those over here. You can see all the blocks I was getting. Windows and all kinds of junk. <laughs> all right, it's so sad we lost that. This mining equipment thing. I don't know what that's for. Um, I, I tried to. I, I put it in the deconstructor, and the deconstructor said nope. Uh, so yeah, that was the thing. I don't know what it's for. I guess we could trade it somewhere. Oh, you know, that's what we ought to do. We ought to go go see if we can um, talk to some UCH personnel. We want that. Uh, so we're not going to put that in the deconstructor. Uh, but the uh, Rook does not have enough CPU for it right at the moment, which is fine. We'll figure that out. Um, this, I can't access the ammo. Well, that's fine. Um, we can throw it in the ammo here. It, da, 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 da. We have a place for armor stuffs. Um, armor mods. I ought to put that one to use. Uh, I've got a medium armor on right now. Armor goes somewhere. Armor mods. Armor. Throw that in there. Uh, hand weapons. I'm just going to put tools and hand weapons and all that stuff or whatever they're called. All in the same box. I haven't been, but eh, I'm going to. That one we'll put out in the trade box or we'll leave it on the rook so we can sell it somewhere. Same with that one. That one's fine. Um, so throw those over there. Throw that over there. All right, all right. Um, fuel O2, which is fine. And I even gathered what's left of the bedax that was left. The poor, the poor, poor Nova. <laughs> Quit crying about it. <laughs> say la vie, as they say. Meds, meds. Do you have a medical, medical supplies? Fantastic. Oh, I like, I like the sorting. There we go. All right. Uh, we got some ores. We're going to put those in the brick. And, of course, in the ores, wherever those... Uh, it's going to be down here. Yes, the wonderful inventory management. Uh, metal scrap also goes in there. Uh, this goes in here. Same with that. Oh, I forgot to move the fuel over. It's fine, because I'm an idiot. Um, throw that over there. We got some undelivered cargo. The hydrocell. We'll put that back on the rook. We'll leave that stuff on the rook. Why not? Uh, fuel O2. Here we go. Lots of oxygen. Look at that. That's fantastic. Go back to the brick and then fuel O2. Throw that in here. Uh, that's medical supplies, actually. Um, closet. Closet. You go in there. All right. Got lots of meds on the brick station. We don't need them on the brick station. We need them on the, on the rook. I almost said the Nova. <laughs> I stopped crying. Um... Uh, what else we got? Uh, does the Rook have a place for junk? Is there like a junk? Because I like my junk to sell. Fantastic. Trade goods. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, our plasma crossbow. You got a small arms. <laughs> oh, I like the organization. It is fantastic. Uh, is this stuff to sell? No, it's kind of junk. Um, unsorted loot. That's junk. You can define that as junk. When you have miscellaneous items, that would work too. Your 60 years standard box. We'll throw that in here. And even our gold coins for gambling. Sort that. Um, and small arms ammo. This is fantastic. I uh, love it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. Mining equipment. Put that into the, the, the to sell box or trade goods box. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, sort that. Okay, great. And that's it. All out of this box. That is empty. That is all the goods that we had. Um, uh, what am I looking for? Um, let's see. It's not, uh, I had I had stuffs to trade. I did. I stuck on here somewhere. There's a what was it called? It's not trade. 
It's probably right in front of my face and I'm just not seeing it. Player trade. There we go. Did I have anything in these? I'm going to rename those to trade. I can never find them under that. Excuse me. Oh, bit of the hiccups there. Um, I had something to dump over there. Um, oh, yeah. Some of this stuff. Uh, so small weapons, small arms. Let's, uh, let's have a combat rifle, a heavy shotgun. Let's sort this thing. Uh, let's throw a marksman rifle over there. Let's leave the plasma thingy over there. Laser SMG, no, that's not required. Um, pulse rifle, didn't I make a new? Yes, I made a new one of them. Let's throw that over there as well. All right, I think we're okay. Pulse rifle, let's throw one of those on there. Not the shotguns, not the pistols. We're gonna throw those in the trade goods. Uh, if we find somebody that wants them, we will sell them. Uh, not the pulse rifle, we'll hang on to that, that's fine. And laser SMG, no, we'll hang on to that. Plasma blaster, we'll hang on to that. Those things usually kill me. Uh, these things can go over there. Eh, let's hang on to some spares. And then Amers. Where's our Amers? Uh, let's throw... Let's throw that stuff over there. Shotgun shells. All right. I don't know why I'm showing all of this, but I'm going to. You're just going to have to suffer. Let's uh, grab half of those. Throw them over there. Sure. Oh, uh... Ammo controller. Let's throw those over there. So make sure that the those things have plenty of ammo. And that's all the ammo this requires, the work requires, because those are the kind of turrets that are on it. I might trade one of them out uh, for like the, the, the center middle one for like the, the cannon thingy. But uh, while these things are crafting, whatever remaining time, I said a lot. Um, I, I'm going to do some stuff and then we'll come back. Uh, I can, b before I let you go, we can fit a, currently, without changing too much, a mining laser wherever it went. Except we don't have an advanced upgrade kit. Mm. Why would I need one of those? I guess we'd have to upgrade one of those. Is that what? I don't want to put that on there. I want mining. Mining laser. Electronics. Why do I need an upgrade kit? Ah, nab it. Well, all right. It is what it is. <sighs> While we are waiting, we might as well have a look at the outside of this thing. It looks pretty darn good, man. Nicely done. I wish I could build like this. Maybe someday. <laughs> I can't. So you can see there's, there's LCDs everywhere telling you how to upgrade this thing. Extra generators, how to upgrade the thrusters. Why are those? Oh, they're not down. That's fine. Um, how to upgrade the rear thrusters. It's fantastic. Look at this. The other generators on this side. There's one up top. You can see this gun. I was thinking about putting the cannon up here instead of the, the turret. Uh, but then we're going to have to, you know, do some angling to get things to shoot correctly. And of course, that's where the long range radar goes. Um, the mining drills would go in here. Of course, you got to sign them to the har well, you don't have to sign them into the harvest car. It'll it'll automatically do that. We just got to sort the jump. I like the texture usage there, along with the mixed with the the yeah, that's that looks really good. This kind of stripe on here. Very nice. Very nice. We ought to get some uh, little, um, the little, the little, uh, the little guns. Put them in various places over here. Like one back he here. A couple on the side somewhere. Maybe a couple on the top. Thruster there. Yes. Oh, that might have been a thruster spot. For an additional thruster? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'll put one of them little guns there. Sentry guns. And words I'm looking for. Yeah, we can probably sneak a couple in here somewhere. Because, yeah, there's a place for uh, another thruster. Although, currently, it's it does pretty good. I mean, it's got pretty good thrust in all directions. Let's look at the numbers and let's see. Uh, statistics. 
So, uh, the thrusters aren't on. We're going to have to turn the thrusters on to see this and kind of information and fire them up. And there we go. Uh, so, we got 74, 74 degree per second roll, 59 meter per second rear thrust, 39 back thrust, 20 degrees pitch, 32 degrees of yaw. That's pretty darn good. 39, 39, and 59, and 39. That is not bad at all. Lift currently is 366 and a half tons. Mm -hmm. Maximum speed, 100 meters per second, which we were hitting on the way over here. That's, it went far faster than it did in the Nova because the Nova topped out at like 56 or something, 52, something like that. We'll th shut the thrusters off. Although it says it can idle forever. We should test that. We're gonna go ahead and shut these sides off. I think we know what we're doing. I think, in case I screwed things up. I had to get a couple extra generators to throw it on here, too. I don't know if the extra power is required at the moment. Um, I guess we'll find out. So I got these six. I could back it up a little bit so we get all of these panels on the side of this thing in the sun, although most of them are. We're just missing three. I mean, those three are kind of are, but there's no indicators on here. These indicators are not working like they would on a base. You know, like these things do, that tell you how much sun and how the optimization form is. So, that, like, you can see all these are greens and yellows all up and down the entire board. They don't light up like they do on that. I, I guess that would be a restriction, because I am I got no idea how they got them to work in Reforged Eden. I don't know these things. <laughs> I didn't know thing. The thing was even kind of possible, but it is. As you can see, this thing is covered in solar panels. There's a ton of them on top. All right, this is great. Okay, we're still got a long time to wait for the CPU extenders to be made. I might make a couple generators, or we can go salvage a couple somewhere. We, I find generators all the time. Speaking of, I've added generators into the brick. Uh, so I think it's got three or four generators now. Uh, big ones. Uh, I don't remember ripping out the small one, so it's probably still there. It's got two big ones, two large ones, and then there's still the small generator still there. Although it really doesn't use them, so I'm gonna continue waiting and getting some other things done while um, we are waiting on the CPU extenders. Where they go? They're down here. Uh, to get made, uh, we probably got a long time to wait. Eh. 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 All right. This medium armor is heavy. It's really slow to move. Yeah, we're still waiting on these things. It's got five of the eight made. And then we, that's just for one of them. All right. I'll see you in a long, long while. All right. So we got a couple improved CPU extenders in here. I got them painted a slightly different color than everything else. I think it's the same color here. Uh, I stuck that one up there. Uh, so it wasn't blocking this area so we can get to this generator when we want to replace it And of course we got to remove the <clears throat> Gravity generator to get to that one over there uh, Which is fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, they're painted yellow. Oh, who? Oh, who can I control copy that color? Just go eh, eh. All right, we'll just repeat the theme Fantastic. I can't get up the stairs. Oh almost made it. Oh, man. Eh, we're getting radiated as we're down here jetpack <laughs> it's part of the problem, you know, because the tax is there. The warp drive is, like, right there. Of course, the generator's right there. And I think there's a thruster nearby-ish somewhere as well. Uh, I'm going to make some more Pentaxid because we used a bunch of it. I started out with 400, and now we're down to, like, 260 or something already. Uh, and then we're going to go somewhere and do something. All right, one thing we're going to do before we wrap up this episode. I forgot the, the diggity. The diggity's still down on the planet next to the, the Polaris trade station down there on the planet. I forgot all about it. <laughs> Dang, damn it, I hit wrong buttons again. <laughs> and that Corvette's still stuck in that field of junk over there. Just fine. You stay over there, you evil son of a gun. Uh, I did, as you can see on the toolbar, trade out the fake... Um, Radar dish, the decoration one, the Jeff Randall decoration block, 
to the long range radar and is not currently on because if I turn it on, we'll actually start burning through fuel, as you can see here. I'm starting to figure out how this works. So if I shut that thing off, we're not burning through any fuel at all sitting idle. So we can literally sit idle forever. That's just fantastic. That's great. We're going to get landed down here. We're going to get the uh, actually we ought to just park out here somewhere. We'll find it. I'm just going to park out here somewhere. So uh, turn on the initial dampeners. That way we don't have to land it. It's fine. Let's orient to the play field. Let's uh, align it to zero. And we're just going to get away from everything. <laughs> and then we can bring the diggity to this thing. Uh, stay away from that supply station. I think we should be okay here. We're four kilometers from that supply station, six kilometers, almost seven kilometers from that one. That thing's 20 kilometers away and should leave us alone. The shields are up. Uh, we should be okay. We haven't had any little drone fools coming around, although the, the, the turrets are on and that should take care of those. Uh, shields are on and also should take care of those. So the rook should be okay. I have already saved a template uh, with all the new devices on here, the long range radar, the, uh, improved CPU cores, and that's all I've added to it so far. And then you can see our, our CPU has, our max CPU has gone up significantly. So we can add some things like some mining lasers on the front of this thing. That would be fantastic. But, oh, I can't just drop down there, can I? Eh. I can't. We're going to have to take the rook down. All right, well, let's do it. I was thinking, I could just teleport down there. I have not added a teleporter to this thing yet. I am going to, though. <laughs> that is great. The teleporter's been handy. All right, now I just got to find where that thing was. Oh, it's right here. Fantastic. And we got to find someplace relatively flat to land, of course. And... When we get back up into space, I am going to hide that, um, that bookmark for the wreck station just so it shows locally because we can always find it in the registry and whatnot anyway. So let's get landed here. Let's get laid flat and move a little closer because why not reasons. And we'll just slap the diggity on top of this thing. There's the diggity. Hello, my little lifesaver. You've been such a great little ship. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Yeah, I flattened the tree. Good. <sighs> That's new in a re fairly recent update. I think the last major-ish update. The 1.10 is when it started. Imperion started allowing us to bash trees with really heavy ships. I mean, you should just bounce off them. And you still kind of bounce off them. Oh, hello. We need some sentry turrets on this thing, that's for sure. All right. Let's get the diggity, get, get it loaded up. We're going to head on down here. We've got some quarters. I love it. I love it. This thing's great. What a great recommendation. There's been a couple people that rec rec re bleh, recommended it. So, and one of them's been, well, both are subscribers. So, excuse me. Oh, reload, of course. A lag spike there for reasons. I don't know. My computer was doing something. I killed some sandworms. Ha 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 ha. What are you? Oh, thorny things. All right. Well, might as well grab some thorny things while we are here. Sure. Why not? Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I don't want to get stabbed by the thorny things. Might as well collect it before we get stabbed. All right. No, nope, we want the Nova. Well, hello, sir. You might want a helmet. Well, you could probably breathe in this atmosphere. I can't. Eh. Okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, my dear friend, little Mr. Diggity. How you doing on fuel? Oh, you're doing, doing alright. I shut the shields off and crap. While I was on the moon, I did find a, um... Uh, like a, a little pentaxid field with the regular pentaxid thingies that you can pick and also plant and reforge deed and not vanilla, of course. Uh, so I, as you can see, I picked a bunch of them. Uh, make sure we had pentaxid from when we brought the ship in. <laughs> so I think we're good to go. What am I doing? <laughs> I think we're good to go on pentaxid for a little bit. We'll go ahead and pop that shield back on for reasons. And let's get this thing loaded up on top. We'll save the interior for, where's this go? Ah, right behind the turret. All right. And 
care for that. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, this thing is just going to fit, isn't it? All right. Let's get a little bit of a viewpoint here. And slide it over just a touch. And slide it up a little bit. And that's good enough. There. Docked. Perfect. I couldn't have done better myself. I did do it. <laughs> All right, let's get this been taxed out of here and moved over to the Rook. Uh, let's go ahead and dump it in here. There we go. We got lots of taxi ready to go. A bunch of fuel ready to go. This is great. This is just great. I'm enjoying this. No, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> just did it. <laughs> oh, my word. Did, it, did I seriously just do that? I seriously just did that. All right, we're full up on Pataxa. <laughs> I moved it the wrong way. Ah, uh, brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Um... And this stuff can go in here. All right, we got our first stuff in, in our uh, raw goods fridge. And the, the fridge one is gonna be our uh, MREs, meals ready to eat. Uh, so uh, we got I put some hamburgers from the, the brick station that I had made some time ago in there. And I believe we are ready to go. And we can have one last look. Let's get some stuff off the screen. We're gonna hit the, let's get some stuff off the screen. We're gonna hit the, nope, wrong keys. We're gonna hit the alt. Look at this thing, even it, no, I'm in the wrong thing. Well, let's just get out and have a look at it. This uh, this thing is great. And we can run along the length of the ship. We got all these solar panels, so it's not actually consuming any fuel. Minus 296 watts. Too bad it doesn't have any batteries to store some of that stuff up. That'd be great. Until we turn this thing on, and then it's, you know, that it kills. I didn't, I'm surprised that long-range radar takes up so much power. It's, that's shocking. I wonder why the, well gonna say no wonder why the nova ate through so much fuel it, it did good it did real good but i mean it was a this this ship actually would last us through mid game um with no problems whatsoever with the upgrade capabilities of it slap some sentry turrets on it here and there this would be a fantastic It'd probably change this thing over to a cannon uh maybe a missile launcher at some point in the future uh we need to get some mining lasers on it of course uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> I forgot to turn my jet back on. We hurt our sieves. It's it's fine. Can I get some stuff on the screen, thank you? Oh, thank you. Okay. Ah, just a little bit. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, we can get some, you know, put like a sentry gun back here. Or we can probably mount a turret, some kind of turret back here. Uh, probably a, a normal um, minigun turret or whatever is their gun. Not, not the little sentry things. Uh, that is a... Polaris thing. Okay, good. Whew, scared me for a second. I said, hey, no, no, I don't need that right now. But we, we ought to find some places to put a couple sentry guns along, along the sides. Maybe a couple up front here on the front part. And, you know, one or two on the back somewhere. Just to have, you know, some of that point defense kind of stuff on it. Uh, but that's going to be it. We're going to wrap this up. I was hoping we could get something else done in this episode. But... As you probably can tell already or figure it out for yourselves, we are going to call this an episode uh, because this has taken all our time as to basically recover <laughs> our <laughs> tragic accident. Oh, I can shut that light off. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll find sometime soon some mining lasers and some salvage and stuff. I'd like to get out of this system. I don't like this system. It's been a nightmare. Although the Polaris have been great. They've been fantastic to work with. Been using the, the oh, I like. I never noticed the little globe up there. Look at that. Check that out. That's that's a great screenshot. Let's uh, let's get a nice screenshot here. In fact, let's get a let's get even better screenshot. Let's go stand our butts right here, and we're gonna pan back and get the whole thing in frame. The, our new boat and the Polaris station, who have been so kind and put up with us while we have been stranded in this system. <laughs> And there we go. That's a nice shot, isn't it? Although you can barely see us. We're way down there in the bottom middle of the screen. Right now, you see the little blue dot down there? Yep, yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> Just get a screenshot. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up, folks. <laughs> uh, oh, man. 
I had to do a lot of resource gathering just to recuperate. I'd take my helmets off, but the, it's not a breathable atmosphere on this planet for reasons. Although it's a desert one, it looks pretty, but it's not breathable. I found out the hard way. Hard way. I almost died. <laughs> Again. Go figure, right? <laughs> oh, it's kind of, has he got a smiley face on his helmet? Looks like a uh, look. Uh, look uh oh, look like a smiley smiley face from the front. You see it there? Now I'm never gonna unsee it. Is there a light on? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, so that's it, folks. That's all I got. Oh man, it, it's been a bunch of hours to get. I was just preparing, preparing to get our next CV in, which should have probably lasted us to end game as long as we didn't get blown up. Uh, but the and the Nova, oh, mate, rest in peace. And hey, take care of you and yours, and be safe out there, folks. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.